and do hopefully some damage in the meantime. And I think Lorik might hold the key. So this list is called Rayrik. Let's take a look at what we've got on here. So we're starting off with Ray. Ray has a great pilot ability that when an enemy ship is within her firing arc and she's attacking or defending from that ship, she can reroll two blank results at uh, the modification phase. That's not great either. I mean, that's accurate, but it's not. Stumbled on it. <clears throat> hey everybody, Sci Fighter here with another squad briefing. Today we're going to look at a list that I've been coming up with with a friend of mine. Uh, he's been flying Ray for a long time, really likes her, but just can't find the right kind of wingman to go along with her. Uh, if you take somebody that's really good, they're too expensive. Uh, if you take somebody um, that's just pretty average or below average to get a couple of them out there, they just don't have what it takes in this meta to survive or hit as hard as they might need to. So we were looking for some kind of option to keep Ray alive longer. I think we might have found it. This list is called Rayrick, and it's got a fairly normal Ray. Um, she has the pilot ability to reroll up to two blank dice when attacking or defending from a ship that's inside her firing arc. Very powerful, but also some specific triggers have to hit. So. What do we need here? We need more blank results. With Finn, we get to add a blank result uh, to attack or defense as long as that ship is, again, within our firing arc. So they pair together very nicely. And if we're getting a bunch of blank results to reroll, then we just need a focus or better if we take expertise. We don't even have to spend our token. We can use it for other things, which we'll get to later. But with expertise we can flip all of our focus results into hits and really pack a punch every single round. This is going to be offset a bit by the title. So the title is going to give us a stress if we choose to do a three banking sloop maneuver. Um, this allows us to keep Ray's arc pointed where we need it, but we're going to have a stress issue for expertise. We can solve this, however, by Kane and Jairus. When we perform a white maneuver, which the three bank is a white maneuver, we can then clear off uh, stress that we've received. And due to the exact timing windows, Kane and Jairus will allow us to perform the sloop, take our stress, and then remove it. Uh, very strong uh, option. He can also remove sh uh, stress of friendly ships that have performed a white maneuver. So you're opening up not only Ray's dial, but your wingman's dial as well. We're going to throw smuggling compartments on. Uh, this allows us to take a modification that's three or less, but also it adds an illicit slot. And Ray's not much of a crime lord, but that's going to actually come in very handy. We're going to give her countermeasures. This allows us to, at the start of the combat phase, remove a enemy target lock from Ray, increase her agility by one until the end of the round. So on that turn where you're just about to take a big heap of punishment, you can suddenly shrug off a missile that might have been coming your way because you're removing a target lock, or you're just removing um, enemy modification. You're also increasing your agility for the round, which increases not only the maximum potential that you can defend, but also those blank results. We have more options to re-roll them um, as we have more dice. Glitter Stim is going to be for that time where we just really need to survive or we really need to kill somebody. Um, it's it's more of a distress, high distress uh, call. 
Um, if somebody's stressing us and we're not going to have expertise anyway, it's a great way to still pack our punch. We can remove our stress later, but for this turn we really need to do some damage and survive. So Glitter Stim allows us to take a stress, however for the rest of the round any focus tokens, uh, or focus results rather, on attack or defense get flipped to hits or crits. Um, very powerful just two points and hopefully it won't give her too much of an addiction as she goes on and that's triggered at the start of the combat phase so her wingman Lorik the bane of a lot of people's existence right now uh, especially with uh, such a heavy bigs meta but Lorik um, has the ability to spend his reinforced token on an ally at range one in order to give them an evade result to their uh, defense roll. It's very strong, very powerful, it can really save Ray in a bind. Um, a lot of people won't want to shoot at the Azatuck if it's reinforced in the proper direction, and the, so they'll be firing at Ray, and now you can use your action to help her. Um, You've got a 180 degree firing arc, which is great, however you don't have great ways to turn around. Lightning reflexes is going to allow you to do that once. So my suggestion for this would be on the initial combat approach, uh, after you start to break away again, Ray can sloop around and come back and keep shooting, uh, but Lorik's going to have a long way to go. Now we can change any white or green maneuver uh, into a 180 degree turn. We do take a stress from it, however, due to timing again, Kanan can actually remove that stress if we performed a white maneuver. Um, so that's one way we can fly it. Lando Calrissian, a card that doesn't see a lot of play, but I actually really like it here. Um, so with Lando, it's an action. We have to roll two green dice, and any focus or evade results, we get to hang on to as tokens and then spend them as we see fit. Uh, very strong. Um, you're generally going to get at least one token, which is all your action would have done for you anyway. Um, so you're typically not going to blank out and lose on both dice. Um, and then on those times where you're going to win and have more than one token, even better. I'm going to pair that with Jan Ors. She can turn one uh, focus token, uh, once assigned, into an evade token. And that's even for our allies as well. So when Ray chooses to focus, she does not need it for her attack. She really doesn't need it for defense, but she's only rolling the one die unless Finn gives her a second. Um, so having an evade token allows you to basically have both Millennium Falcon titles at the same time. And with Lando on Lorik, Lorik can now roll focus uh, focus results and still get an evade token out of it if he needs it. Um, now you're going to be like, well, I think we want to reinforce most times. Uh, one for Lorik's ability, and two just to make him survive. And that's true, that's why we have Experimental Interface. I tried it out actually with Push the Limit, and I'll link the uh, sci flight that I did that with um, in the description down below. But Experimental Interface is basically Push the Limit in your modification section. You do have the contingent uh, parameters that you have to perform an action on your bar, and then you can perform an action from, that's given to you from a card. Lando is an action given to us from our card. So we can reinforce, experimental interface, and then Lando. And then if we need to, Janors can change one of those results. So that's Rayrick. It's actually surprisingly strong. When Ray can live, she just has the whole game long to just keep pounding away at our enemies list until there's nothing left. So take that, um, see how that rolls for you if you're interested in flying Ray, and if you want to see this list uh, granted there's that push the limit change 
uh, in action that will be in the description below. If you have an idea for a list, I had a viewer already that um, was watching me record a uh, squad briefing and we put together a B-Wing list because he wanted to fly B-Wings and not get uh, smashed into the dust. Go ahead and submit uh, any requests if you have a certain ship you want to fly, if you are just looking for random lists. Um, just try these out, give me any uh, requests that you may have, and we'll do a side flight on it. Why not? Um, I will uh, even take a list that you have that you've been wanting to try, but whenever you get that table time, you just you can't quite put it down because you'd rather fly something tried and true. I get that. I understand that. If you submit that um, in the comments below as well, we can also uh, get that going into side flight, and I'll fly it for you and let you know how it goes. So, take it easy everybody, and we will catch you guys next time for the next squad briefing. Hey PJ, I'm just letting the uh, 